Sarah Ferguson lifts lid on Princess Eugenie and Beatrice's reaction to health update. Sarah Ferguson has lifted the lid on Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice's reaction to her health update. The Duchess of York was diagnosed with breast cancer during a routine mammogram last year, undergoing a single mastectomy. Then in January this year, Fergie, 64, was found to have malignant melanoma. In a new interview, the Duchess gave a health update, admitting she was told by doctors to avoid the phrase cancer-free, and is having regular checkups for any recurrence. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. However, the Duchess's outlook remains positive. Fergie said, I have to be checked regularly and I have to put cream on my face to get out past sun damage, which means big blisters on my face, chest and hands for three weeks. But I'm not doing immunotherapy, taking any drugs or doing chemotherapy, for which I'm very grateful. Sarah opened up about her daughters Beatrice, 35, and Eugenie, 34, and their reaction to their mother's diagnosis. She continued to tell hello, I have the most exceptional family, and I have an extraordinarily great team and I have an enormous ability to turn to joy. I have always brought up my girls to be so honest and frank that they know I'm going to tell it to them straight, however difficult it is. So when they said, Mummy, tell us the absolute truth, have they got all the cancer out? And the answer was yes, they knew they were safe. Speaking about the late monarch, Fergie added, one of the only people who saw me properly was the Queen, the late Elizabeth II, and before she died, she said, Sarah, being yourself is enough. Fergie also stressed the importance of spreading awareness. She said, I really don't want people to go through what the past year has meant to me, mentally as well as physically. I want readers to think, I mustn't wait, I must get screened. The royal family, and the Beckhams have had a close friendship over the years, with David Beckham reaffirming his bond with King Charles after being appointed an ambassador for the King's Foundation. Speaking to GB News, biographer Levin said Andrew and Sarah had tried to organize a birthday party for the then six-year-old at Buckingham Palace. She explained, there are claims that actually it was Prince Andrew that Bex was all pally with, and that actually Prince Andrew had organized a birthday party for six-year-old Harper Beckham in Buckingham Palace. Fergie did all that without actually asking for permission. Detailing the reaction to the unplanned party, Levin said the royals were furious with Prince Andrew and Sarah. She told GB News, the royal family were absolutely furious about that. But they just felt they're now not getting on very well, so it was very difficult. Royal biographer Angela Levin claims that Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson once infuriated the royal family after organizing a party without permission. The Duke and Duchess of York reportedly planned a sixth birthday party for the daughter of David and Victoria Beckham, Harper, in 2017. The royal family, and the Beckhams have had a close friendship over the years, with David Beckham reaffirming his bond with King Charles after being appointed an ambassador for the King's Foundation. Speaking to GB News, biographer Levin said Andrew and Sarah had tried to organize a birthday party for the then six-year-old at Buckingham Palace. She explained, there are claims that actually it was Prince Andrew that Bex was all pally with, and that actually Prince Andrew had organized a birthday party for six-year-old Harper Beckham in Buckingham Palace. Fergie did all that without actually asking for permission. Detailing the reaction to the unplanned party, Levin said the royals were furious with Prince Andrew and Sarah. She told GB News, the royal family were absolutely furious about that. But they just felt they're now not getting on very well, so it was very difficult. Following the incident in 2017, Levin also claimed the Yorks were not invited to the wedding of Brooklyn Beckham and Nicola Peltz in 2022. Levin told Eamon and Isabel, they didn't invite them to Brooklyn, and Nicole's wedding either. So that's all I know. When asked about the reinvention of David Beckham and his relationship with King Charles, 
Levin claimed the star has turned his attention to the monarch. The king has reaffirmed his friendship with the football legend after being announced as the new ambassador for royal charity the King's Foundation. Detailing their friendship, Levin told Eamon and Isabel, King Charles loves him, they've got lots in common now. They both love having bees and making their own honey.